Hi, you are watching Women Are Talking, and I am your host, Billy Martin. Thank you so much for watching. We have a very special guest here today. Her name is Jasmine Brown, Chef Jasmine. We, we also have a very special guest here, Kim Toya and Sydney Williams. They decided to join here today so that Miss Jazz so can show them exactly what it is, why food and romance goes together. My two favorite things, food and romance. So what are you preparing for us today, Miss Jazz? Today I will prepare a date night pizza. Pizza is one of the easiest, but can be a very sexy thing that a couple can prepare mm. and eat together. So we're going to have a vegetarian pizza because as I understand, our couple here, they do not eat meat. So they will have a vegetarian pizza and they will have a nice tossed salad to go with it. Ooh. So it's gonna be both yeah. healthy and tasty. And tasty. And sexy. And you don't eat meat because? Well, I eat meat, my husband doesn't eat meat. Because just lost interest in it. He died. Why are you lying on camera? I, I call him a pescatarian because he eats, eats fish. fish. Oh, okay. So he doesn't eat uh, poultry or, eat. or red meat. Okay, but well, we, you're you're fine. You you love I veggies love and, and I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. So what ingredients did you have for us today? Well, I prepared uh, earlier a pizza with um, a whole wheat crust. Mm -hmm. And, most, and it's going to be all veggies, so we have a little garlic oil, garlic oil here, excuse me. We have mushrooms, we have onions, we have uh, red and green peppers, spinach, and black olives. And what you see here I, is just some of the ingredients that were in the salad and mm -hmm. the pizza. So we have a garden salad here with just romaine lettuce, uh, cucumbers, red onions, tomatoes, and black olives. And we have a vinaigrette, a mustard vinaigrette that will accompany that. And here we're going to actually do a demo okay. with uh, pizza crust. And I'll talk a little bit about how versatile pizza is. It's likened to an artist palette because it's a blank canvas. And mm -hmm. you add the ingredients and you have your masterpiece. So that's what we're going to do here today. Yay. So let's get started. OK. What do you need me to do? I really don't want to do nothing. I'd rather they do it. I just want to drink wine. So. OK. <laughs> well, oh, let's have a toast. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers to that. Oh, I'm late, huh? I'm sorry. Cheers to, cheers to romance and food. <laughs> let's, and get, food. let's get started. Mm. Okay, so, Sydney. Yes. Would you mind finishing up the grated cheese? Okay. Yes, sir. And then when he's done with that, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to start with the crust, and I'm going to have Toya join me. You okay working, Toya? So you do it all day at, at night at home? Yes, I do. Okay, come this way. And this is what I'm gonna, just gonna add a little flour to the board so that the dough doesn't okay. stick. Okay. So Toya, here you go. What do I do? Gonna get a little messy. I love to cook, but I've never made pizza. Pizza is an awesome thing to cook, especially for date night. What I love about pizza is very versatile. You can do breakfast pizza. You can do uh, dessert pizza, and then you can do something savory, which is what we're pretty much doing today. And where do you get the pizza dough? From? This is a store-bought pizza dough. So I think it was a dollar, okay. and they sell what? it in whole wheat, and they sell it in uh, just a regular flour crust, I mean flour dough. It's a dollar. You can make it yourself at home if you have the time and you want to be, you know, a little Susie Homemaker. <laughs> but if <laughs> not, for a dollar. But for a dollar, you can um, save yourself the trouble. You're going to just pat a little. Okay flour on here and then and kind of Wait, watch it. my wine. <laughs> there you go. Just get the flour on it so it's not sticking. Okay. And then I'm going to show you just a little technique what you're going to do with your fingers to get it spread out. Mm -hmm. Just to stretch it out a little it. bit. You got to twist it up. And then you know you I know you've seen this in the, I've in the seen pizza. It. I don't think I'm I not going to tell you that I'm an expert. <laughs> that I'm an expert at doing this part. I don't think you want to and, and toss it up and. I'm not going to do that. I think this has a lot to do with um, being from Italy. <laughs> I'm kidding. Part but, of your DNA. <laughs> right. So, I really just kind of stretch it out as much as I can, like this. So I'm going to let you do a little bit of this and try not to poke uh -oh. a hole like I just did. You can always patch it back together. That's what I Work there you go. All right, let's Try to get on the edge so you can stretch this out a little bit. Okay. And you see as you do it, it's stretching. Oh, it is stretching. We're going to close up this hole right here. Oh, you got Keep the going. cheese already. You got the cheese all shredded first all thing. That's great. Okay. Now you can let it lay it flat. Another beautiful thing I'm going to tell you about pizza crust. 
it doesn't have to be that perfect round circle that we see at the pizzeria. Yay. This is your own thing, this is your palette. And when it's done, it'll be your masterpiece. And when you eat it, I'm sure it's not going to matter what it looks like. <laughs> it's going to be yummy. For the sake of time, I'll stretch this out a little bit more. Lay it out like this. Close up our little holes here. Okay. And we'll make it a little. That's cute. cute. Right. <laughs> That's we'll have cute. it around like this. Now, what you can do is get your ladle. Okay. And you have the sauce here. I'll take the lid off of that. Actually, we're missing a step. Toy, you want to do me a favor? You want to pass sure. her that brush over there? Brush the oil on? Yes, and you get the oil. It's just the first container here. And you're going to brush a little oil around the, the edges. Are the all edges over. and all over. Mm -hmm. Yay. And that's garlic oil. It's, it's olive oil infused with uh, fresh chopped garlic. I love garlic. That's, me too. It smells mm -hmm. yummy. Me it's too. going to taste really yummy when you're done. And you just do what she's doing? Just brush it just around brush the Just brush it around the edges. You can brush it around the, the um, actual, the entire crust. Do you need it around the entire crust? No, but it just adds more flavor. It wouldn't oh, hurt okay. to have a little extra. Maybe flavor and the color probably. Right. Yeah. The color is definitely going to come out on the, the um, edges of the pizza. Okay. So that's good. Now, Sid, you're going to come over. Okay. And switch spots. Yeah, you All right. That's um, good. Okay, we're gonna give him some space. There you go. You get a ladle full of that. Mm -hmm. That's good. So what's in the sauce? The sauce is a, it's a, I make my own sauce. I don't crush tomatoes or anything, but I buy cans of, of crushed tomatoes. I'm sorry, let's not, let's give him something. <laughs> <laughs> Pour that in the middle. I'm okay. gonna show you exactly what you're doing with the, with the um, ladle. All okay. right, so once you get in, just keep spreading it around, just like you see at the pizza shop. I know you watched them before, so you should be able to do that and feel like you're, like you know, an official pizza maker. It's um, it's uh, crushed tomatoes with basil, and what I did was I added to the sauce. I added uh, fresh garlic, chopped. I added oregano, dry oregano. I added dry thyme. Mm -hmm. I added cracked black pepper and salt. It looks really and a little bright. red wine vinegar and olive oil. Uh, Shook it up, yeah. and you have a really secret. great crust. Right. I can tell you that because you would find that on any site. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what the extra ingredient is. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so now you can come over and you can join your husband. Okay. Let's, let's make sure we don't get our We're good. wires crossed. Okay. Good. Okay, now you're going to put just a little bit of cheese. So you guys can do this together because it's supposed to be like a romantic uh -oh. thing, right? You so you grab a little cheese. Together? We don't usually cook together. Every now and then he'll be my sous chef. Oh. Do some prep. How often is that? Barbecue time? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Once a year. So here you go. So you be getting down. I see some of your dishes on Facebook. I love to cook. What's something that you really, what's one of your favorite dishes that you like to cook? Um, everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sid, what's some of the dishes that she, that you like that um, she cooks? <laughs> oh, fish. Um, everything she makes is delicious. I do nice. grilled salmon, and uh, my kids love beef ribs. They love barbecue beef ribs and mac and cheese. Yes, that's an all-time favorite. Yeah. Okay. It's looking good. Put a little peppers down there. A lot of peppers. So do you marinate the peppers or anything? You know what I did? I did. I marinated them and I baked them at about 450 degrees, just on a piece of foil with a little olive oil, salt, and pepper. Okay. And I did the same thing to the onions. They okay. smell delicious. Yeah, that's what I had. And the, the spinach, I just blanched. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, organic, fresh mm -hmm. um, baby spinach. And I had a pot of uh, rolling water, boiled water with salt. Dropped them in there for about 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Pulled them out and shocked them in a little house. cold water. That's the blanching process. And just to wither it a little bit. So mm -hmm. when you spread it out on the pizza, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, when it, it'll cook nicely. And then you're going to add a little bit. You're going to finish this off with a little cheese okay. when she's yeah. done with the spinach. You know what? What you just said is great because that's what being an artist is all about. That's his interpretation of, of pizza and that's her interpretation. So going up there She's all decorating all nice and sprinkling. Just tossing. That's right. We compliment each other. We have yes. a good thing. Z. 
Zig and zag, huh? Zig and zag. <laughs> okay, so then you would take this, and I, I, I use a um, Chicago metallic has a, a sheet, a perforated pizza pan. Mm -hmm. You can use a stone, which is probably even better. Okay. But I just put that in the oven for 20 minutes yes. on like 400, 425. And pizza honey, top. you'll never go to Sal's again. You can, you can get, you got your pizza <laughs> at home. Fantastic. You can add whatever toppings you like. You can make it a breakfast pizza. You can add eggs. Mm -hmm. You can add, um, eggs. yeah, bacon. Well, you don't eat the sausage. <laughs> but you can add sausage. Or, you know, you can add whatever corn, side. a little yeah. vegan meat or whatever. You can add whatever you want to it. And, and dessert, and like you can add chocolate sauce. Mother's I don't know. Day or okay. anniversary breakfast? Or yes. Okay. Our <laughs> wheels are spinning already. <laughs> <laughs> and then here you just have a garden salad. So you have your cucumbers. I use um, the English seedless cucumber. You have romaine lettuce. You have um, tomatoes on a vine. And then you have a little red onion. And I did use some of the um, black olives. Mm -hmm. And I made a vinaigrette, which is uh, just some olive oil, red wine vinegar. I put a little brown sugar. Honey is a great emulsifier or um, mm -hmm. Dijon mustard. Mm -hmm. And then I put some herbs. Okay. Salt and pepper. Sounds good. Shake it up. Now, this is a good excuse, Cantoya. You, you don't want to cook. Yeah. And Sid, I'm tired. I need you to go in the kitchen and do the do. He can't say he didn't get any type of instruction. Yes. No training. <laughs> you know, any type of training. And he forgot roll tape. That's what I do. And you see how easy it is. It was very easy. Right. Would you very say it was easy? easy? It was very easy. Okay. Can you see yourself fun. doing this again on your own? <laughs> At some point in time, probably. <laughs> I mean, you can't beat it. For under ten dollars, you can have a whole gourmet meal. Really, it like was fun. Dollar for pizza crust? Why would you go through all the trouble of making your own pizza crust unless you want to make it yourself? If you have flour, you have all that stuff in your house, you can do your own thing. But you can get whole wheat. You can be healthy about it. You got, you know, these are probably some of the things that you may have, like onions, peppers, spinach. The best time for me to make pizza is when I'm trying to clean out my fridge. Because mm. I'll just oh. take whatever's in there and then a dollar for the dough. Right. I keep a can of uh, crushed tomatoes in my house, so, mm -hmm. and we're having pizza. Okay. So that's definitely something you can do for date night. <laughs> and I have one that's already prepared, so, you know. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys we're about can. to dive into that right now. Okay. So let's chit chat. So, um, real quick, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back, okay? Stay tuned. say thank you for sharing your time with me. My name is Billy Martin and I produce this show Women Are Talking. I'm sending you this message because I need your help. Along with my other projects, I've been working vigorously to make this show your show to watch. Necessary changes have been made and I am and will continue to make necessary changes with a new look, new exciting topics, and new exciting panelists. I must say, this wouldn't be possible with my, without an awesome crew whose professionalism, commitment, and patience are indescribable. But here is where I need your help. Help me spread the word on Women Are Talking. There's no better promoting tactic than word of mouth. This show is something we need to have talked about. Where else can you go to listen to you talk about your life issues, voice your opinions, share your dreams to your sister girls and your friends, family, co-workers, boo-boo, whomever. My purpose is to showcase women of color being able to effectively discuss issues in a manner that is not seen in today's reality TV or talk shows. We can talk to each other. Unfortunately, what's mainly shown on TV is that we're money-hungry, fame-whoring baby mamas whose only dependence is determined at the hand of a male figure in some form or fashion. For many of us, that is not our reality. For the others, well, I'd rather talk about them on the show. We have thoughts, opinions, and even the humor to share that is not about hate. Feel me? Instead of feeding the problem, I prefer to be part of the solution. The best way we can represent us is to showcase us. So, like us on Facebook. I hope you do. Please help me spread the word. Joining us on Facebook is the best way to stay tuned to what juicy topics will be discussed by us and you. So thank you for watching. And we are back ready to stuff our faces. This is the finished product here, but I just wanna, before we dive in, I wanna ask Jasmine a couple of personal questions, pretty much. Not personally, anyway. <laughs> but firstly, I wanna know, what made you decide to follow this? It kind of followed me. How? Uh, I just, I just always love everything about me. I like, one of the things I always say is that like, 
Nordstrom is to my girlfriend's school, like Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. Farmer's Market is my Nordstrom. Okay. So that kind of sums it up. Like, you like to shop for boots and pocketbooks. I like to shop for pots and tomatoes. And that brings me joy. Like, I love the supermarket. And seedless cucumbers. <laughs> and seedless cucumbers, yeah. So it's, it's one of those things that no matter what I do, cooking, culinary, all things, I'm a foodie at heart. Like, it's just yeah. always front and center. It's always something. If I go, I can go to a stranger's house and I'll, is there anything yeah. you need me to do? I'll jump right in. <laughs> you know, I just love cooking. I love talking about food. I love and so that's the one that I'm not But like, you knew how to cook before you, you I went to culinary school. Yeah. I did. You took it to the next level. I did it. <laughs> you, <laughs> you went and made it all. It shows making me look bad. Like, really? Well, so, I did that because I have a lot of respect for people who cook and who are chefs, like mm -hmm. professional chefs. And I yeah. didn't want to just come on a scene like, this is what I do. No, this is what they do. And then and for me to make it official for me, I don't know that I needed to do that, but to make it official for me, I felt like I needed to at least get the basics and learn a little bit more about the culinary world, like as a professional. Okay. Okay. So where do you want um, Jazzy, um, Jazzy, Jazzy palette? palette to go? The Jazzy palette, I'm, I, I yes, I do have these grandiose dreams and, um, you know, of what it can become. Right now, um, I have some other th things that are kind of in the works, you know, that also tug at my heartstrings. So, I what I'm doing right now is I work with a couple of international chefs. And, you know, I work with an uh, oh. Italian culinary, excuse me, Italian catering firm. And now I work privately with a French chef, a chef from France, and he has he worked with um, a pretty great restaurant owner, like people who are like master chefs mm -hmm. in his craft. And I'm learning a lot from. Him. And we do things on a private level. Like if someone has a, a dinner party, and it's like anywhere from 16 to 28 people mm -hmm. they may be. I like that. I like the intimacy. intimacy of, yeah. I'm not into like the 500 person wedding. Right. Can I do that with the staff? Sure. Right. But I'm more into catering to people individually in your home, mm -hmm. your guests. Um, your child's birthday party, your baby shower, intimate events. Your I'm anniversary home. date. Your yes. anniversary. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting it out there. So, you guys enjoying the the pizza? Oh, yeah, the dive we have a Okay, sure. Let's dive in. He's dive been in. waiting. <laughs> and save me a piece, please. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> Of each of those things. And it's something they can do together as you saw. They can do together. 
And so what's not sexy about red sauce? What's not sexy about, you know, cooking at a meal with your, with your partner, with, with your man and your woman, like, baby, I did this for you. You know, I know. I eat tomatoes. That's too much. <laughs> so how I gave you a little bite. So tired of that. Look at that. Sunday. All right. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, that sounds 
And the shopping is also a part of the experience. Some people like to do their own shopping because that helps them feel like they're involved in the meal process. <laughs> I am the woman of the house. Exactly. And I understand, and I understand that. That's something you may want to do, but I would also do the shopping because I have so much no yeah, we go over the menu for the yeah. week. You don't have to, you know, it's not something that you're excluded from, but we'll go over the menu. You tell me what you like, what you dislike. I tell you what we can do to make some things healthier. You know, we do portion control, so there's enough for everyone for each portion of the meal. If there's four servings, there's four servings. You know, so that's pretty much the service that I offer. And then you're you in your practice. This is a this is awesome that you're available, you know, for this because I was having a conversation about of uh, this particular issue. And Cindy, maybe you can help me with this question. But you know, we're up to times, and it's it's a it's a it seems to be a norm that women don't know how to cook. You know, so now you have Chef Jazzy here that can shop for you, prepare your meals for you for the seven days straight. And, and, and you're all good and fine and dandy. But if that person got a man that they trying to impress, and what have you, know, Jazzy's gonna have to be hiding in the closet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, whatever, but would that be okay? Like, is that okay to, to know that, you know, like this woman don't know how to cook, but she can wear the hell out of a red dress, you know? And like, she got Jazzy on, on speed now, you know? And that's still acceptable, right? That would be acceptable in the science? I think so. I think so. I think that um, people have evolved. And there's more to your, your partner, your spouse, you know, cooking. Um, so I would think so. As long as they're, you know, they're able to eat. It'd be fine. Like looking good in the red dress. <laughs> very important. Very important. <laughs> I wouldn't have a problem with that. Well, I asked you because, you know, you guys have been having... I've been spoiled, food. though. Yeah. My wife can cook. She's a great chef. Right. So I've been spoiled, but, um... And you don't have to be home. Yeah. I don't want you on my mind. You just go do your thing. I don't need to make you to me. I don't know. You had a pizza? No. Let me in. Go take the kids out. You and your husband can all go for a family. Sure, if you give me a couple hours, maybe a few. Give me three hours. I'll whip up about three or four things. Belisha.